In this video, I'm going to be talking about my Amazon FBA product research criteria and rules, and that's using the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. By the end of this video, you're going to know the exact product research technique and rules that I use to find me products to move ahead with. I will go through the reviews, price, sales, and revenue on Jungle Scout Chrome extension. And here's the kicker. I'm going to show you one product that I would go ahead with and want to analyze further. It might be the one that you want. To see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into Jungle Scout and go through my criteria. Okay, for those of you who don't know what Jungle Scout Chrome extension is, it basically scans Amazon's results page to give you information on a list of products. For example, the sales volume, it'll give you the revenue, it'll give you the average review, it will give you the selling price, etc. So here's the Chrome extension pricing plan. If you wanted to know how much it costs, um, well, they have a, a risk-free 100% money-back guarantee, uh, and it's a one-off payment. You never pay for this again. So there's two options. There's the light option and the pro option. You can click on the link in the description uh, and come here and purchase whichever one you think is relevant for you. Um, I do use the pro one, but if you're just starting out, get the light one. It's only $97. It's a one-time fee. If you do want to go pro, it's $197 as a one-off. You can upgrade once you've got light, you can go to pro. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the analysis that we were going to go through. So I'm going to use yoga blocks as an example for amazon.com and I've already done a search here. And what you can see is it brings up a search result of um, over 1000 results, which is actually okay. It's not a, a super high volume. It doesn't seem too competitive. Um, on the initial outset, but let's run the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So just giving you a quick overview of the extension, it provides you with the product number. It's listed in the order that it's listed on the page. You can see the product name, the brand, the price, the category it sits in, the rank, how many sales are being made a month, uh, the revenue generated on a monthly basis, the, the number of reviews, the average rating, whether they're selling it from Amazon's warehouse or elsewhere. Uh, which is AMZ over here. Um, you've also got the estimated fees. Uh, that's Amazon's FBA fees, the amount of people selling the product um, and the weight of the product. Remember, this is the pro extension. Um, there's some pieces in, of information in here that you can find out for free. You don't necessarily need the pro version. You can get the light version. All right, so let's analyze this. So what I tend to do, first of all, is order this by sales. So I want the highest number of sales first. And as you can see, there's some duplicates. I also like to keep the sponsored products in, which are the uh, products that you see listed here at the top. As you can see, these are sponsored. People are paying to advertise to be in these spaces. So I wanna take out the duplicates. So all you gotta do is click the X here. This is a duplicate here, so I'm taking that out. This is also a duplicate, take that out. Uh, another one there that is not a duplicate that is not a duplicate okay cool so what I tend to do is I start off just to check the sales numbers and I want to make sure that the sales numbers are above 3,000 in total for all of these added up and this is well in excess of 3,000 once I know that this is above 3,000 I take a look to see how evenly spread out these numbers are and it seems relatively even apart from the top seller, which you'd expect, who's got over uh, 822 reviews. So from here, I have a quick look and it looks like it's spread out nice and evenly. There's a, there's a good distribution of sales. Next, I try and look at the reviews and I try and look for the reviews that are under 100. Ideally, I'm actually looking for numbers that are under, under 50 reviews. So if we scroll down, we come here to 88 reviews and we can scroll across and see what's going on with this product. And we can see that there are yoga blocks and we can see that there are two yoga blocks being sold on this listing, as well as a D ring strap. And they're selling it for $19.90. Now, one of my rules that I have is to ensure that the price of every product that I sell is above $20. The reason for this is to have room for any type of fluctuation that might occur, whether Amazon's fees increase, whether there's a pricing war that starts, whether shipping increases, whether you come across unforeseen taxes, that price tends to give you enough margin for you to play around with, as long as you buy the product at the right price 
from China. So when I look at this, I try and identify what makes this product different to every other one. This is obviously a much higher price than the other products. And I want to obviously identify the difference between this product that has 88 reviews and is getting one and a half thousand sales at $19.90, while the others are priced almost half or under half of this price. So let's go ahead and look at what the difference is. Okay, so here we can already see that the this product above it, which is a lower price, doesn't have the, uh, the D-ring strap. This has two blocks for $10.99, two blocks for $10.99, one or two blocks for $7.48. All right, let's go back to the review section um, and go down to here. This is 21, this is $9.99. This is a set of two. The price is too low for me. Um, however, you do wanna keep an eye to find out why this product is selling a lot for just 21 reviews. It could be the price is lower than everybody else's, it could be the actual product or the product design is really good and it's appealing to people. The fact that this is gray or black, maybe the reason why people are buying it, it might be the color that people are after. So make sure you, um, you mentally note that or you write that down in a book. Let's further go down. So this is 54 here, uh, selling for 9.99. Again, that's a purple one. There's two blocks that are being sold and it could even be the image sometimes. Um, okay, let's go down again, 34 reviews two block, 10.99. So what I'm finding here is that these prices are too low and this is not a price that uh, we want to, well, I want to be selling at. So then I go down to the next one, 55, 7.99. Just take a quick look at it. Okay, it's another two blocks. Um, let's go down to this one here, which is the 39 reviews. Uh, and great, look at the price of this product. It's $27.98. So they're selling two yoga blocks and look at the image, it's high quality. It looks like they've put some work into the packaging um, and they've also included the, the D strap that we were talking about earlier. Um, so that's something that we can already see. The difference between the higher priced products and the lower priced products is that there's a D strap. And the, the reason why this specific product is $27.98 and the previous product that we looked at was 1990, which is this one, could be purely down to the way it's packaged, or the way it's designed, or the materials that's being used. So here they're talking about eco-friendly cork yoga block. So that might be more expensive to buy, but there might be more margin in that, so you can make more profit. So you continue to do this further down. Um, this one's got 25 reviews. They might be here because they're advertising. Um, they're selling it for a lower price than the other two. Um, they've got the D ring and they've got the two blocks. So you can see that advertising also works while you're trying to make your way up to these top spots or to get yourself ranked onto the first page. So we can go further down and I want to analyze this one here, which is 15, only selling 95. So watch out for that. My rule for sales is I want a minimum of two to 300 sales a month for a product that has low reviews and has a price above $20. So make sure you make a note of that. But what I'm trying to show you here is try and find the opportunity. Try to identify what customers are really wanting and try and identify that through the analysis of using the Jungle Scout extension. So what we've seen here so far is that the ones that are priced highly have a D-strap included in the product. The ones that are priced even higher have better packaging or better photography and they're still doing well in sales. So this product is generating a 30,000 revenue a month and the product here, the eco-friendly one, one that's packaged quite nicely, is generating $8,870 a month with only 39 reviews. So what I want you to understand here is adding a related product that other people are buying, so they're buying yoga blocks, people who buy yoga blocks also buy D-ring straps, and you bundle it together, you're actually providing value to the customer. So the customer doesn't have to go around searching around Amazon, and you're actually saving them time. That's value. You also want to try and add perceived value for the customer. So let's go down and look at this here. This is perceived value. So what you can see here is the blocks are made from a different eco-friendly material. Um, they're packaged really nicely and it comes with a D-ring strap. 
So they are actually able to sell this for a higher price. Now they may be new into the market, so still trying to find the correct price for this, but already they're generating $8,870 a month with just 317 sales. So if I was to calculate the profit that this person is taking home, let's, let's take this as a 30% margin, 8870 times 0 0.3, this person is taking home $2,661 a month if they're making a 30% margin. Now, what I want you to understand about margin, my rule on margin is to have no less than of a margin than 30%. I would not go, I would not move or buy any type of product for a margin that's less than 30%. It needs to be 30% or above. That way it gives me room for any type of issues that may come up, pricing wise, shipping wise, etc. And it future proofs your product a little bit. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please let me know. I would like to understand where I can help you better. So comment below. So now let's look at a product that I actually would go for. So I found this product using the Jungle Scout web app. So let's take a look. And it's called Plastic Medicine Cups. When I found this product using the Jungle Scout web app, I basically typed the search criteria into the search box and these results come up. So what I'm going to do is run the Jungle Scout extension on this one and do you a quick, an quick analysis on this. Okay, so then firstly, I order this by sales, making sure that sales is the highest, get rid of any duplicates that might be here. Cool. So as you can see, the sales meets my criteria of 3000 and it being relatively evenly distributed. Um, we look for the low reviews, so 17 sticks out and 4 sticks out over here. Um, and we've also got another 4 over here. Um, and as we look at this 17, we want to make sure it meets our price criteria. This one doesn't, this one doesn't, this one does. So we want to see and understand why this one is priced, this is priced at 29.76 and is able to sell 253 a month generating $7,529 a month for only four reviews. So let's take a look at this. So what we can see is this person is selling a thousand of these plastic medicine cups, one ounce medicine cups. They've got five star review, only four reviews. It doesn't look like the listing is amazing. There's no high definition images. There's no real description here, and the title is, pe is pretty boring. So let's, let's go back and look to see if anybody else is doing anything like this. So as we can already see, this is a 100 pack. This is 125, 200, 100. Uh, this one is a 100 count. Uh, this one is a 100 count, 100 count, 100 count. 100 count, this is the 1000 one, this is a 7 ounce, uh, we can actually, plastic cup, we can actually take that out because it's not relevant, um, this is uh, 5000, um, and actually we can see here that this person is selling for 37.15, they're selling 132 a month, this doesn't meet the criteria of 200 a month for me, however, very low reviews and is generating $4,904. Um, let's take a look at the next one. This doesn't look like it's a medicine cup. 500. Again, 1289. It's too low of a price for the, my criteria. Um, but with only five reviews, again, 112 sales. So what I'm trying to point out here is that this one here is the only person so far that we can see on this page that is selling a thousand medicine cups and is doing really well. This is a product that I would look into and is potentially a product that I would go for. So what we can see here is by just increasing the quantity and purely just the quantity, they're able to increase the price to 29.76 and they're able to achieve a higher sales volume. You can see that what this person has done has looked at these numbers up here. They're extremely high, which means a lot of people are buying them. There might be repeat purchases. That's something we're not able to find out. But by selling them in a bundle of a thousand, they're able to achieve a great result 
with really low reviews um, and a decent revenue. So we also want to see if there's an extra bundling opportunity here. So let's click on this and see if Amazon is showing us what other people are buying with this product. Okay, so it looks like they're buying this uh, pill crusher pouch, pack of a thousand with it. So what I would do in this situation is I would analyze uh, pill crusher pouches in the exact same way that we did this. And if it checks out, I'd continue and do the 999 cart trick just to make sure that the sales are correct and Jungle Scout is not incorrect. And once I've done that, I would be looking at bundling these two products together and selling it for this price, or you could sell it for slightly, you could sell it for slightly higher, you could sell it for $59.99, or you could sell it for $49.99. And you would probably be the first person in the market to do this. So I hope that is really useful. This is absolutely a product I would go for, but I've got all of my money tied up in about seven or eight products, five of which I'm looking at at the moment, one of which is already selling and two have already landed in the country and are going to Amazon FBA's warehouse. And that's how I would use Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So here's a quick recap. Make sure you keep your reviews under 100. Make sure the sales for all of those little boxes are more than 3,000. Ideally, you're looking for a lot more than that. And you wanna make sure it's evenly spread. So there'll be 1,000 at the top, there'll be 800, then 700, etc., etc. Make sure your selling price is above $20 and make sure you find the opportunity, the added value. So whether that's bundling, providing better value to the customer or improving the product. If you have other ways of spotting the opportunity, let me know below in the comment section. And if this was useful to you, make sure you like, subscribe and comment. I will go through the I will, I will go, welcome, and on this channel, no.